video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create some very interesting abstract 3D designs using brushes. Now, just quickly go to a layer, new layer, click OK. Now, I'm just going to go to the brush tool, I'm just going to find it there, there's a brush tool, and I'm going to use brushes from graphic extras, but of course you could use any other brushes, or maybe just a standard layer. Add that to the new layer, and I'm just going to quickly add a few. I'm not going to add too many, I'm not going to spend all time covering the whole design. I'm just going to create a few there. And now, what I'm going to do because it's a layer, I can also quickly just go to a layer and layer style, and I'm going to add a gradient. I'm going to create a just select one of these gradients, and that creates some interesting lines into the design. So, just going to and these ones are also from graphic extras, but you of course can use any other gradients. Very easy, just quickly knock up a, a gradient just using various stops. So click OK. Now, once you've done that, what you can do then is just go to 3D and new mesh. Now, depth map to, and I'm going to go for, so there's obviously other ones, plain, etc. A whole range of different designs, but cylinder. Cylinder creates some very unusual design so cylinder select that plus it's quite quick compared with some of the others so just takes a few seconds to process and there's one of the designs you can create obviously with that now you can apply other effects maybe modify it so you, you don't you won't always create obviously exactly this design so there is the design there now a very abstract design just created using standard brushes. Now what you can do once you've done that, you've obviously there's a number of settings here, modify, press solid, you can actually turn it into sketch, quite a nice little quick sketch design as well, but it's good, solid. Now flatten, flatten the image, click OK. What you can also do then, once you've actually done that, you can actually go to say filter, and maybe oil paint, I'll just select that one, so it creates a nice, again, slightly warped design like that. But what you can do, I'm just going to go back a few steps, so I'm actually going to keep that as a layer. So what you can do then of course is you can just rasterize that layer. I'm just going to go rasterize layer and then what you can do, I'm just going to duplicate that as well. Obviously you've got the shadow that's gone slightly over. Anyway, it's not perfect, but what you can do, obviously you can just duplicate that. Duplicate that design there as well. So you can fill the design quite dramatically with a, that design there. And you can just select all those, go to layer and merge layers, and then go to, again, just back to 3D and new mesh from layer depth, and maybe use plane or go with cylinder again, and so on and so on. Of course, also what you can do with this, you can actually export the things. So you can actually export the 3D model, and then you've got even more unusual 3D design, sort of like a fir tree made out of multiple. So I'm just going to bring that a bit closer there. Takes a few seconds to process and you can see the design there. It's a very furry sort of unusual design and again layer and flatten image or I say you can actually export. So 3D, export 3D layer. You can save it to, just quickly select that, various formats such as object file, OBJ. So click cancel and use it in Poser or other applications. Anyway, I hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.